Welcome. I just finished setting up a new Kubernetes cluster with this Google Cloud Microservices demo app. I'll quickly buy a home barista kit. The Kiali dashboard shows a lot of traffic moving through the product catalog service. I'm now going to break the app by killing the service. You can see that everything is broken. Let's see what Zebrium's machine learning picked up. An incident was detected with the description, the pod was deleted. Here, it shows the indication of root cause, scaled down replica set to zero, which is exactly what I did. This is the worst symptom, container not running. Drilling down shows more detail, including anomalous metrics that correlate with the problem. Really important to note, all of this was generated by our machine learning without any rules, pre-training or knowledge of the environment. The only thing it had to go on was half an hour of logs and metrics. Now let me show you how to build and then break this environment so that you can try it for yourself. All the steps required are documented in this blog. I'm going to create a Zebrium account. From the Zebrium homepage, click Get Started Free. Enter your name, email address, and company name, and click Get Started. Now, set a password. Your account has now been created and you're taken to the Zebrium setup page. Because this is a demo environment, I'm gonna change some of the default Zebrium settings to compensate for the short runtime and the small amount of data that's going to be sent. Click the gear button and select incidents from the dropdown. Now, select create for infrastructure incidents and set the incident sensitivity to high. Next, select advanced from the gear dropdown and we're going to change the refractory period. This is because when we break the demo app later, it's gonna generate a lot of similar log events and patterns to ones that occurred during bring up. Setting the refractory period to a much shorter time will compensate for this. It's important to note that for normal use, you don't need to make any of these changes. Now click the Zebrium icon to go back to the setup page. I'm now going to create and start a Minikube Kubernetes cluster with enough resources to run the app and all the other components. I'll create it with a profile called Boutique to make it easier to clean up later on. In order to make the front end IP address accessible, I'll run the Minikube tunnel command in another shell window. Now it's time to install the Zebrium log and metrics collectors. Start by clicking on Kubernetes under log collector setup. I'm going to use Helm 3 and copy and paste these two commands. The first creates a Zebrium namespace. The second installs the log collector. I don't need to set the time zone for this demo, but I will set the deployment name to boutique. Install the Zebrium metrics collector by clicking on this button. Again, I'll use Helm 3 and cut and paste the commands. I'll install the node exporter. And when I install the zstats collector, I'll set the deployment name for the collector to match what I used above. This is so Zebrium can correlate the logs and metrics from this environment. Let me check that they're running correctly. And I'm all set. Logs and metrics are now streaming to my Zebrium account. I'm now going to install Istio. I'll make a new directory and grab the latest version of Istio with this curl command. I'll change into the Istio directory, create the Istio system namespace, and add the Istio bin directory to my path. Here goes, I'll install Istio with the demo profile. I'll also add a namespace label. Next, I'll install Prometheus from the downloaded YAML and also Kiali. These errors are caused by a known bug. To fix it, I just need to run the cube control apply command again. Let me check that everything is running correctly in the Istio system namespace. It's looking good, so I can bring up the Kiali UI in a new browser tab with this command. And it's time to install the demo app. I'll go back to the directory I created and use git to get the online boutique app repository. I'll change into the microservices demo directory that was just created, and I can now install the app. The app has 12 services that run 12 pods. On my Mac, it takes about three minutes for all the pods to enter running state. I'll keep an eye on this with cube control. Now that all the pods are up and running, I can get the front end IP address of the app. 
and bring up the Online Boutique app in a new browser tab. My Kiali dashboard also shows that everything is healthy. It's all looking good. I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and come back in about 10 minutes. This will give the ML time to learn the normal pattern. Now it's time to break the app by scaling the number of replicas in the product catalog service pod to zero. You can see the app is now broken and the Kiali dashboard is showing a lot of red. Let's look at what Zebrium detected. Click the incidents tab to see a list of detected incidents. Some of these are because of what was happening while I brought up the environment, but this one relates to exactly how I broke the app. The first event reflects the root cause, scaled down replica set to zero, and the worst event is a symptom of what happened, container not running. The plain text description is created by using the incident events as a prompt for the GPT-3 AI language generator. It's pretty cool what it came back with. The pod was deleted. You can click the details button to drill down into the incident. On the right, you can see the log events that describe what happened. And on the left are the anomalous metrics that correlate with the log events. You can see that everything dropped as soon as I killed the pod. You can even turn off the incident filter by clicking here to view the incident events in the context of all other log events. There's a lot more you can do in the UI, so please spend some time exploring. And remember, Zebrium's ML detected the incident and root cause with absolutely no rules, pre-training or knowledge of the app. Everything was picked up because the ML found a hotspot of abnormally correlated anomalous log events and metrics. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a chance to try all of this for yourself. Thank you.